Vivian Nunes there. Well, time now for our daily look at some of the newspaper and website stories that have caught our eye. Joining us is Emily Taylor, Chief Executive of Oxford Information Labs. It's a cybersecurity consultancy. Welcome to the programme. Looks like you're about to be interrogated by two tax men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Way to put someone at ease, Jane. I have Wait, nothing to hide. Right, nothing okay, to... we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Ben. Um, it's to give someone sort of uh, a shock. I mean, uh, uh, let's, let's pick up on the, uh, the first uh, of the stories that we're looking at and this is in The Guardian and it's um, uh, a, a post-traumatic stress disorder a former Facebook worker claims that the disturbing content that they viewed while working there um, gave them um, some some problems which they're now trying to um, get Facebook to take responsibility for. Yes that's right that, this isn't the first case that's been brought against Facebook by content moderators but I think it's significant that this is being brought in the European Union where there are, are, are greater protections for employees um, but it really um, casts a light on this world we like to think that mm. content you know that content just magically disappears from these platforms but it's it's Tens, some some estimates are that there are up to a hundred thousand people involved in in getting uh, rid of this content. A hundred thousand people wa watching these images. Yeah, and it's it's not just direct employees; it's through outsourced companies. Um, there's been a lot of work, but they, it, it's surrounded by secrecy. A lot of it because I think the platforms don't really want us to think about all of the negative stuff that goes on, and some of it is truly horrible and damaging. Uh, it's a, it's a. We're just saying. Uh, Facebook says we're committed to providing support for those that review content for Facebook. Let's move on to our next story, which is a massive switch. Mm. Christmas. Yes. What can you tell us? Oh my goodness! Been watching the Christmas video from the hardware store in Wales. And it just shows, you know, if you've got a great concept and it's beautifully done, you don't need to spend a massive amount of money. And we can see it now. This is it. This is the heartwarming video that's captured. Is it too much to say not just the nation, but the world's hearts? <laughs> Emily, I made the mistake of watching it an hour or so ago, and I had to pretend I was red-eyed just because yes, I was tired. Yes, yes, <laughs> chopping, what about you? Chopping Jane? onions. Yeah, yes. I was saying, oh, chopping onions in the office, but yes. did you have the same reaction? I same did. Reaction? It, made, it, made me, it did make me well up because it's such a, a beautiful idea, you know, being a kid at Christmas. That's something we are all very serious in our lives. It's something to, to remember, and it's, it's just beautifully done. And the little boy is brilliant. Oh. Oh, so yeah. focused. <laughs> Putting the sign out and then he's kind of doing all the odd little jobs around Child the labour. Yes, very unfair. But of course, so, that's the twist, isn't it? It's right. not oh, really it's not, of course, that he, he is remembering the, a uh, Christmas as a kid. Yes. Yeah. It's just, we could just have this as opposed but to the yes, programme, yeah. really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's one of those things that, you know, I, I, do people eventually become immune to it, do you think? Because there are so many cutesy Christmas ads. Does there come a point where they stop being effective? I don't know. I th there are things like this that seem to cut through at the noise. There's a, a general level of noise, and I, I agree with you. We're so bombarded with messages, aren't we? And some of us have, you know, cut off uh, or you know, have ad blockers so that we're not. But there are some things where you just watch it and it draws you in. Of course. And that's really what advertisers and marketers are really looking for, and isn't that's, it? That's what they've got. Emily Taylor, CEO of Oxford Information Labs, thanks so much for joining yeah. us. Thank you. Just realised, didn't I?